Hello and welcome to the Health Initiative. My name is Dr. Mehdin Mohammed. What is this Health Initiative, you might ask? Well, this is a platform that will contribute immensely on educating the general public on the intricate matter that is health. Through this platform, we will be able to bridge the gap that exists between patients and healthcare professionals with respect to medical ethics. We will be able to debunk the myths and misconceptions that exist about general health and shed more light on the matter that is traditional medicine with factual evidence. And as I promised earlier, we are going to talk about health. Before I begin, I would like to clear away one major misconception that the general public has. And that is, health is the absence of symptoms. Why am I saying it is a misconception? It is because this is the most practiced thing by every individual, almost every individual out there. Now, let us get into the real meaning of what health is. Health is a state of well-being across the physical body and your mind. The physical body is the one which is paid most attention to. One might ask why. It is because the physical body is blessed with the presentation of symptoms and signs. But what about the mental health? Mental health is a state of psychological well-being where an individual is able to cope with the daily stresses of life. An individual is able to process emotions, to process his thoughts. An individual is able to make a contribution to his community. Okay? And this individual is able to fully realize the potential of his abilities. That is simply mental health. Another misconception I will clear away with is the absence of mental disorders is not mental health. I will find it. I request to you, members of the general public, is to practice regular medical checkups. Why do you think we are asking you to do it? It is because through you coming to a consistent medical checkup, we are able to recognize diseases early and be able to prevent their progression and some treatment. Now, a study done by WHO from 2000 to current 2019, and this study shows that about 70% of deaths globally is due to non-communicable diseases. And what are these non-communicable diseases? These are conditions that affect your heart, for example, high blood pressure, for example, diabetes, for example, respiratory diseases, for ex uh, in particular, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease that is because of smoking and other occupational hazards. Now, through this study, we were able to see that there are risk factors that are present for the development of such numbers. What do I, what do I mean when I say risk factors? We're talking about, we are talking about habits. Habits such as drinking, habits such as smoking, habits such as a sedentary lifestyle where 
you have minimal physical activity and your body ends up having such kind of illnesses but through practicing regular medical checkups we are able to reduce the number of deaths that is due to such illnesses as much as we already have a fight against infectious diseases being in africa we have those other non-communicable diseases being another scourge being another problem you understand so with all this said i'd like to thank you for listening and ask you to please subscribe like this video and share this well